Stephen Crofts played a captain's innings as Lancashire shaded the first day of their LV County Championship match at Grace Road against Leicestershire. Fielding first after winning the toss on a cool morning, Leicestershire were the latest team to find Paul Horton in good form in spite of the green nature of this pitch. A couple of 50s and a big 100 in his last two games was soon being added to by the 32-year-old with his new opening partner Carl Brown, preferred at the top of the order to the out-of-sorts Lewis Rees. Brown had made 21 out of an opening stand of 41 when he walked into a shot off Clint Mackay and edged behind. Horton was then given a life on 20, a nick off the luckless Ben Rain being dropped by Mark Cosgrove. Instead, the home team had to make do with the wicket of Alviro Peterson, who went fishing off Tom Wells to give Niall O'Brien a second catch of the morning. Peterson departed for eight at 63 for two, and Leicestershire would have been pleased with their start, showing an excellent reaction to the nightmare events at the Keir Oval last week, when Jason Roy and Stephen Davis hammered this attack to all parts. Horton was beginning to enjoy himself too. Rain was not being helped at all in the field. Aswell Prince, a very bad man to drop in his current frame of mind. Rob Taylor managed to do that twice in the space of two rain overs before Prince had really got into his stride. These misses off a man who is second only to Kevin Peterson in the leading run scorers of the second division. Those misses looked as if they were going to be very costly against a man who's already hit 200s and 250s in six championship innings prior to this one. Horton was on his way to another 50 of his own, one which in the end used up 123 deliveries. These are a couple of these seven fours he struck in his latest half century. Thanks to those fielding lapses, Lancashire, the current second division leaders, in spite of losing at home to Gloucestershire last time out, were making good progress. In fact, this pair added 93 for the third wicket, only for Horton, who had by now made a march up to 70, went after a very wide ball from Wells to give O'Brien yet more work to do behind the stumps. Charlie Shrek backed that up with an in-swing of two balls later to have Prince LBW for 29 at 156 for four. Three wickets fell in the space of five balls for the addition of no runs when Alex Davis was undone by some more swing from Shrek to go for a third ball duck. So now Leicestershire were putting themselves on top. Jordan Clark getting his innings going before T, which arrived with the visitors on 227 for five. Clark looked good and was threatening to put his side into the box seat. In partnership with Croft, the two adding 73 runs for the sixth wicket, just when the home team were starting to look good. So it was perhaps even Stevens when, immediately into the evening session, O'Brien was given his fifth catch, Clark falling to Wells in a disappointing fashion after looking good for his 44. Tom Bailey soon followed, unluckily chopping a ball from Taylor back onto his stumps after making a couple, leaving it to Croft to make sure that his side just about had the edge come the end of this day. The captain, who has the role because of Tom Smith's long-suffering back problem, made it to a 50 off 76 balls from those he'd found the boundary seven times. This was his best effort with the bat thus far this summer, an important innings in the context of this game, coming just a couple of days after he made 70 off 39 balls to defeat the Foxes in the T20. Again, Leicestershire had had their moments, their failings this season and over the past couple of years, being their inability to go for the throat when they have their opponents on the ground and pleading for mercy. They would have been frustrated that it was one of their own in the form of Nathan Buck, who left Grace Road in the winter, who along with Croft held them back either side of a break for the light. Buck made 25 before falling just before the close as the Leicester-born lad edged Mackay to Angus Robson in the slips. And then to the very last ball of the day, some more movement for Shrek did for Simon Kerrigan, who was poached by Ned Eckersley off the shoulder of the bat. It meant that Croft had to head to bed, needing just two more runs to secure what would be the ninth first class hundred of the 30 year old's career. He though will be happy with his performance, which has seen Lancashire make 356 for nine.